Ah, yes, the nectar. The nectar. Nectar on nectar. You don't know what that means. It means this delightful nectar is on top of the other delicious nectar that I've discovered. Uh, it, I had a, I have a stomach full of Jif maple. I don't know. It's some. It's a maple spread peanut butters. Oh, bad news! Don't buy it. It's too good. You'll eat it all. New Things Day. Two days late. Uh, my New Things Day from Nope. Wrong. Wrong. My new comic book day from this week. Some back issues, a couple trades, which is strange for me, and don't know if I'm gonna play some book game, but I do have books to show that'll be described, explained, described is not the word I was looking for. First up, books. Rock Candy Mountain number four. This was supposed to come out a while ago, two weeks, three weeks ago, and I, my shop didn't get it till now. Ultimates two number nine. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number seventeen. I had the option of the Billy uh, action figure variant, but I like that cover more. Uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number two. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe again, number two. America, number five. Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye, number ten. Curse Words, number six. Luke Cage, number three. Mighty Thor, number 21. Royals, number five. Generation Gone, number one. And I thought that I had ordered this. Actually, no, wrong. I don't remember ordering this at all. At all. Trinity, number 11. Super Sons, number 6. Astonishing X-Men, number 1. Batman, number 27. Green Lanterns, number 27. And last of the new books for this week, uh, Archie, number 22. It looks like somebody damaged my copy, and I'm kind of really upset about it. Um, at the shop when I got this, I actually just did one of these jobs and just kind of looked at one page, and I got misty. I, I genuinely had tears in my eyes. I don't know what happened. I haven't read this yet. I'm trying to put it off for as long as possible, but I'm probably going to cry like a child if it's anything like the pages I got a peek of. Either. Next up is my uh, my main back issue pickup of the week this week, and I was really excited about this, although I wish I had more information on it. The only information I have is the minimal information I found. And this may be or it may not be. If you have information, let me know. But this is Jughead is Captain Hero number one. And from what I understand, this is the first appearance as Jughead as Captain Hero. But I, I could not get confirmation anywhere about that. I'm not sure. But really excited to own it. Either way. Next, I uh, went to a comic shop, not a local one. It was uh, farther away. Went on a trip to Half Price Books. Uh, because we don't have enough books. But those books are in the piles now. And that's also where I got the trades. But this is from a comic shop like almost right across the road. It's actually the same comic shop where I got my Iron Man 55 at. So, um, Jughead number 189. Jughead number 191. Laugh number 232. Life with Archie, number 91. Life with Archie, number 110. And actually, I got this for $1.50. And when I got home and started putting it in my little book of what, I, you know, what I'm collecting, this is actually a minor key. This is the first Chuck Clayton 
So there you go. Life with Archie, number 110, first Chuck Clayton. Stay tuned for more Archie key information. Life with Archie, number 103. And Life with Archie, number 119. Uh, and then next I got two trades, which not normal for me, but uh, they were at half price books for very cheap, so I couldn't pass them up. I got the first trade of Scalped. I I haven't heard a lot about this in a while. Uh, I feel like for a long time people were talking about this book, and then it just kind of disappeared. So I don't know. I love Jason Aaron. I'm excited. I've never read a single issue of Scalped. That might be incorrect. I may have read one weird single in the middle of the run somewhere, but I'm excited to read the first trade. In addition to that, I got Clive Barker's Next Testament, Volume 1. Uh, huge, big Clive Barker fan, so I uh, didn't pick this up when it was coming out. I'm excited to see if it's decent. I heard a lot of mixed reviews. Next, I uh, went to a flea market on the way and didn't really find anything exciting. Was really on the hunt for Polly Pockets. Uh, and that's a, I know that might sound weird, but uh, Tara and I made the decision that we wanted to collect Polly Pockets. So that's a road we're heading down. I'm excited about it, though. But I did find these guys. I got a Bendem's Farouk. As well as a Bendem's Ahmed Johnson. So I was excited about to add those to the wrestling figures collection. And then books... Um, uh, if you recall that big book sale I talked about in one of my other videos where you fill bags up, you fill, you, you fill a bag up for like four bucks and we got five bags. I had a whole bag full with just this series. So I don't think I want to go through and play the, the, the date game with all these. I'm just going to run through them. But these are all uh, Mac Bolin. Uh, it's all from the Mac Bolin Executioner series. Uh, and I'm actually reading 22 right now, which is like Hawaiian something. But I forgot to bring it in here. Uh, but I have number 22 I'm reading right now. This is Executioner 26, Acapulco Rampage. And I think I think these are late 70s, early to mid 80s. Well, the numbering will help, I guess. But this is actually 76, so mid 70s into, uh, I'll look at one later. But there's a bunch of these, and I don't really know if playing the game would be interesting with these. But the covers are amazing. And it's it's almost like the Punisher meets James Bond. That'd be the best way to describe Mac Bolin. It's Punisher meets James Bond by Don Pendleton. I'll run through some of these real quick. Actually, I'm going to probably run through them all. So, uh, Executioner number 37, Friday's Feast. Executioner number 48, The Libya Connection. And this one actually just says Mac Bolin real big on the front. A couple of these do, I think, for a while. Uh, Mac Bolin number... Wrong. Executioner number 51, Vulture's Vengeance. Executioner number 55, Paradigm's Gauntlet. Number 58, Ambush on the Blood River. 66, Orbiting Omega. 67, Beirut Payback. Executioner number 140, Wild Card. And 140 would have been uh, 1990. So about 10 years in between those. Um, there's, there's a piece of card stock in this or something. Oh, no, it's actually an ad. Wow, okay. Uh, number 141, Direct Hit. 142, Fatal Error. 143, Helldust Cruise. 144, Whipsaw. 169, White Heat. I honestly feel like all these titles are just two words. Hey, what two use what two words we use in this book, Don? Ah, who cares? Pick two at random. Uh, one seventy three capital hit. One seventy six ransom run. One seventy seven evil code. 
178 Black Hand. 179 Warhammer. 180 Force Down. These are just two words put together. All these are just two words put together. 181 Shifting Target. 182 Lethal Agent. 183 Clean Sweep. 184 Death Warrant. Uh, 187 Cleansing Flame. And that's a different copy. I think it's probably a later printing, possibly. 188 War Paint. 189 Wellfire. 190 Killing Range. 191 Extreme Force. 192 Maximum Impact. 193 Hostile Action. And now we're getting into some, some covers. Look at that. Uh, 194 Deadly Contest. And we're up to 1995. 195 Select Fire. 196. Oh, oh I have them stacked. They almost fell over. Shry Burst. 197 Armed Force. They're, they've given up. They've finally given up on the titles. 198 Shoot Down. They've given up. Shoot Down is the title of that one. 199 Rogue Agent. 200 Crisis Point. 201 Prime Target, 202 Combat Zone, 203 Hard Contact. How many of these could be pornography? Oh, the fucking stack fell over. God damn it. It's because I talked about porns. Yeah, porns. I call it porns. That's what I call it. I call it porns like that. Uh, 203 Hard Contact, 204 Rescue Run. 205 Hell Road. 206 Hunting Cry. 207 Freedom Strike. Oh, there's other, other sex one over now. And finally, 209 Asian Crucible. So, uh, I don't. if you've ever read any of these Executioner books, I, I've never read any of the later ones. I've read... The, number 22 is the second one I've read, and I do believe that it is the earliest one I've read. I think I also read I-40, I think I also own. I'm not I'm entirely sure about that, but uh, now I'm in the process of trying to reorder these, and I don't know what happened. All right, I think we're good. Right. I forget some more nectar to sign off. Um, I don't know. I guess I can do a few book in because, you know, that's what people tune into, right? Uh, Mauve Binchy, Firefly Summer, cover price $7.99, New York Times bestselling author of Terra Road, which I think we have two copies of. I'm going to say 2005 on this thing. And it is, oh, good, 1988. This was published in 1989. Okay, did not see that coming. Did not see that being a 28-year-old book. Okay. Uh, Ken Follett, a novel, The Pillars of the Earth. National bestseller, cover price $5.95. I'm going to say 1993 on this thing. Very small print here. Wow. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I came through. Uh, this is 1989. So, we're in the 80s for these, huh? Next up is Nori's, Nor, Nor, Noir's, Noir's, Thugalicious, uh, an urban erotic tale. This was gotten out of a storage locker, so I'm actually really excited to check, check this out. It's a genre I don't have much of. It's a genre that, I don't, that has not ever really been prevalent to me. Uh, no cover price. So, uh, published by Ballantine Books. I'm going to say 2005. And I am going to be close. 2006 for Thugalicious. Uh, next up is Emma Hamilton. 
Don't know if this is a biography. Uh, there is a bookmark in here, which is actually the promo thing for Ultimatum. So that tells you how long ago the person read it. That's a weird crossover to have in here. Um, I don't know. No cover price. I lied. $10.99 pounds, euros, um, British printing apparently. I'm going to say, oh, I have no idea, 2002, uh, 2005. So I was close. Um, but I didn't get any, so I'm going to save some more. I, I shouldn't save. I still have tons of books to do. But I have Archie's to hold up. And I, I'm i pretty mad that my bottom of my Archie's bent. Either way, love yourselves. Love each other. Enjoy your nectar. And wrong hand. Read goddamn Archie. And sign. Why do I do that anymore? I don't save it for a for a screenshot anymore. I've given up. My life is a, just a flaming pile of beehives being eaten by coyotes and hyenas. Something happens.